if you look at the people who were out celebrating the most, mainly young people, um, people um, for whom 9/11 was a was the defining experience for their life. Um, so they, you know, they were kids. You know, they were maybe 10 years old, 11 years old, 12 years old. You know, now they're in their early 20s, and that was a life. That was that was a life defining uh, moment for them. 9/11, um, and so I think they felt a bit of 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 jubilation that the fact that this boogeyman, someone who had haunted them, um, you know, for 10 years, was was now dead, and he was no longer a, a worry for them. And I think that, you know, that. You know, I think their expression is is understandable. Um, now, whether or not it was wise, I mean, that's beside the point. That's a different question. For the Tea Party, I really don't think it's going to matter that much. I think it 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 will matter for people who are more moderate in their views, who are more or political independents, right? It might matter for that group of people, right? It will allow them to see the president more as a commander in chief, right? Someone who was more decisive, at least when it comes to NASA security affairs. For people, once again, who are part of the Tea Party or who are hardcore members of the Tea Party, it's not gonna change their views at all. It's not gonna change. They, they, they are hardwired to dislike the president. It's that simple. So it's not gonna affect them one bit. What my colleague Matt Barreto and I show is that um, the more racially resentful you are, the fact that you know you just you don't like black people, right? The more racially resentful you are, the more likely you are to support the Tea Party. So, in other words, if we were just to think about it in more concrete terms, um, the more racial it in, the, if you're racially resentful, it increases the likelihood that you will support the Tea Party by forty percent. So, it is a big factor in it, at least as it pertains to President Obama, like right now. I personally think the Tea Party is the best thing that ever happened to him because what happens is, ironically, is that they are so, at least most of them, not all of them, because I think there are some of them that are truly about small government, that, that have want nothing to do with racism. I mean, I, I really believe that there are those people that are parts of the Tea Party that really believe that. But there's another more radical part to the Tea Party, um, um, you know, for whom Obama will never, you know, measure up. He, he will never be seen as a full quote unquote, real American. And so in that sense, because so many of them are unreasonable, you know, and they're given the rash decisions and rash and rash statements, that it makes them seem unreasonable. Um, and it makes Obama, or President Obama, seem like the adult in the room, if you will. And so I think in that sense, it really helps him out a lot.